Hey YouTube, it's your girl Rachel and I'm back with another cooking video. Today I plan to make lasagna. Today is Sunday and my son plays basketball during the week. So a lot of times I like to cook a meal on Sunday that I know that I can have enough left over for Monday so I don't have to rush home and cook something or try to have something ready or go out to eat on Monday or the night so he plays basketball. Alright, so let's get started. First, we have a pound of ground beef and I have some smoked sausage that I like to add flavor. You don't have to use ground beef, you can use ground turkey, you don't have to have pork, you know, do whatever suits you. It will turn out good. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the pot and brown it up. Now you can always use a sauce of your choice. You can make your sauce, but to keep it even simpler, you find the sauce of your choice. I use Bertoli 5 cheese tomato sauce. I love this. So you can pick any sauce that you like that is your favorite. I also add a variety of different seasonings. Frankly, you really don't have to season if you don't want to but I'm like a seasoned fanatic so I just put in whatever comes to mind so we're gonna go ahead and let this cook and in the meantime we'll get started on something else okay now while the meat is browning um, you can go ahead and start on the partial of the cheese mixture that you put inside of your um, lasagna I'm going to use small curd cottage cheese. You add one large egg. I like to season my cottage cheese mixture. I use Italian seasoning by McCormick. Just put dashes of that in there. garlic and herb seasoning by Mrs. Dash dashes and garlic powder or garlic salt whatever you have and just stir everything up And you'll just put this to the side. You'll put it in the refrigerator until your sauce is ready. Okay, I have already strained the grease off of the meat. And now I'm going to just add in the sauce. I'm going to turn down the temperature. Cover it up. And then I'll let this probably, you know, cook for like maybe... 15 20 minutes on low and in the meantime preheat your oven to 350 degrees all right now to the hardest part of this meal it's time for the layering I use lasagna noodles that are already no boiling required they're called oven ready I've seen them in these two brands I just wanted to show that to you they are oven ready so that means you need to boil no noodles that is the key to cutting down some time on your lasagna dinner okay the first thing you'll get started of course is your sauce you put the sauce in at the bottom of your um dish just a thin layer then you go ahead I know this looks strange because you didn't boil anything, but this is how it's supposed to go. Now on to, you're just doing the layering process. Our cheese mixture, our cottage cheese mixture. Now, sauce. Now it's time you put your cheese on. I like to use this, the six cheese and just the regular mozzarella.
Okay, this is the last layer. Now, we still have some cheese left. We will go ahead and put this in the oven for 45 minutes. And then um, the last 15 minutes, we will put our layer of cheese and we'll let it sit All and right, we'll be so done. Let's go ahead and sprinkle the last bit on top. The hardest part to the, the lasagna, it's not the cooking process. It is trying to keep your family out of the kitchen while wow, this is cooking because they're going to smell it and want to know when is my dinner going to be ready back in the oven 15 minutes So there you have it. Nice, easy, tasty lasagna. And I promise that you'll fa your family will love it. Thanks for watching and check me out on my next video. I know I love it. <laughs>